This is just a short video to tell you how to use my playlist. My GED Math playlist will include all the lessons you'll need to pass the math portion of the GED. I'll make specific videos for each lesson linked with other videos I've made. You see each video's description for the links. If you completely understand the GED video lesson, do the practice problems in the Steckvon GED Math book, and you can get the thinner GED exercise book if needed for extra practice. If you watch my video lesson and are still confused, click on the video's description and watch the linked grade school, middle school, algebra one, algebra two, or geometry videos. And don't worry about each video's grade level. If you're confused so that you end up clicking on one of these videos that are in, linked in the description, don't worry if it says seventh grade or fifth grade or third grade or even second grade because math levels have increased in the last 10 years. What kids were learning in fourth grade 10 years ago, they're now learning in second grade, okay? So don't worry about it. Just concentrate on what it's trying to show you and grasp the lesson, okay? The ability to do analytical thinking and problem solving requires practice or use. It's as if your math ability is a rusty train track with missing sections of track. You have to fill in the missing pieces of track, the missing lessons. You have to make the track shiny from use, so you have to keep using it, okay? So when the track is rusty, it's a slow go. It's going to be difficult at first. It's going to be a learning curve. Once you start going and filling in those missing pieces, you're going to go faster and faster, and it's going to get easier, okay? So it is going to be difficult at first, but depending on how much grit you have and how much stick to you have, is going to depend on your success. So here's a famous quote by Michael Jordan. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. Okay? So you can do this. All right? There's 27 lessons. Each lesson has several topics that I'll separate with letters of the alphabet. So here's an example. Lesson one is number and operation sense. But then it's got all these little subtopics. So to keep my videos from being an hour long, I'm going to break them up. The first one is place value. That's going to be lesson 1A. Then 1B will be reading and writing whole numbers. 1C will be rounding whole numbers. 1D will be comparing, ordering, and grouping. 1E will be solving word problems, choosing the operation. 1F will be using number lines. You can actually see in the book for lesson 18, it says integers and algebraic expressions then it's got this subtopic, understanding integers. That would be 18a. Adding and subtracting integers would be 18b. That way, I can break each one up. See? Make it easy on you, all right? There are practice tests in the book, and I'll let you know when to do each practice test, all right? And at the very, very end, you can take an actual practice GED full test to see how you did. Good luck. I believe you can do this. Just have the grit to succeed, and you'll be fine. See you next video. Bye.